Hello viewers, welcome to SS Tutorial. Today we will learn about orographic rainfall. So let's begin. Orography means the branch of physical geography which deals the formation and features of mountains. And orographic rainfall means the rainfall which is associated with mountain. Orographic rainfall also known as orographic precipitation or snow or relief precipitation. Let's know how orographic rainfall occurs. That means formation process of orographic rainfall. There is no difference in the formation process of orographic rainfall and other rainfalls, except the presence of mountain. In case of orographic rainfall, mountain forces moist air to rise upward. When a large amount of warm and moist air moves horizontally from sea to land, then if any mountain or upland acts as barrier to air flow, then because of initial momentum, air is forced to ascend. Here we must have to know that the wind facing slope is called as windward slope. And opposite of windward slope, which means the slope from which air descends is known as leeward slope. So when air strikes on the windward slope, it forces to rise upward along the windward slope of mountain because of initial momentum. As air rises up, it cools adiabatically and after a certain height, air reached its dew point and condensation occurs. Then it forms orographic cloud and then precipitation occurs. If the air is unstable, then heavy rainfall occurs with thunderstorm. But if the air is stable, then rainfall will be more general and steady. This type of rainfall is known as orographic rainfall. Meghalaya Plateau and Western Ghat are the most notable example where orographic rainfall occurs. World's most weighted place Mohsindram in Meghalaya received most of the rainfall by orographically. Here we must have to know about orographic cloud and stable and unstable air. So let's know them one by one. Orographic cloud means the cloud which forms due to orographic lifting of air. Means air is forced to rise upward by mountain or any upland. Let's know about stable and unstable air. When air rises up, it cools adiabatically. In a normal circumstances, air temperature falls almost 6.5 degree centigrade per kilometer. But it does not always falls at the same lapse rate. If temperature falls rapidly with height, that means if temperature falls more than 3 degree centigrade per thousand feet is generally considered as unstable air. But if temperature falls slowly with height, that means if temperature falls less than 3 degree centigrade per thousand feet is generally considered as stable air. Let's know about rain shadow region. After occurring a heavy rainfall in the windward side of the mountain, air loses its maximum water vapor. And when air reaches in the leeward side of the mountain, then a few amount of water vapor remains in the air. That means it becomes dry. As air descends in the leeward side, it warms up adiabatically. And also water vapor holding capacity of air increases. So due to less water vapor in the descending air, and as its water vapor holding capacity increases, a very less amount of rainfall occurs in the leeward side of the mountain. And forms rain shadow region. Silong in Meghalaya and eastern slope of Western Ghat in India are situated in the leeward side of the mountain. That is why these two places receive very less rainfall as compared to their windward slope. So these two places are known as rain shadow region. Though all type of rainfall has many benefits, yet orographic rainfall has some drawback. Let's know some drawback of orographic rainfall. Sometimes orographic rainfall causes flood and thunderstorm, which can cause harm to many lives. This type of precipitation is uncontrollable. In case of rainfall distribution, a huge differences can be seen between windward slope and leeward slope. Windward side gets much more rainfall, but leeward side gets a few. That's all for today. Hope this video helps you to understand clearly about orographic rainfall. Thanks for watching.